Welcome back to Spirit Lifter. Stout may be my favorite kind of beer, and as an added treat, the one showcased today comes from perhaps the most secluded brewery I've come across making videos thus far. Before researching this episode, the extent of my knowledge concerning the Faroe Islands was that, despite having just over 50,000 inhabitants, the self-governing part of Denmark somehow field their own football team recognized by FIFA. However, this isn't about football, but what you enjoy before, during, and whether you win or lose, also after the match. What became the Faroja Brewery began with one Simon Frederick Hansen, who left his native islands to train as a baker in Denmark in 1883. Returning home five years later and having additionally learned how to brew beer, he opened a brewery in the town of Klaksvik. In the near century and a half since, the brewery has expanded into producing cider, seltzer, and non-alcoholic refreshments, and has recently begun exporting their beers. The Green Island Stout is one of their brews from their Class II lineup, measuring in at 5.8% alcohol by volume. The slight bump in its potency comes from the addition of Caribbean cane sugar. Although still debated in linguistic circles, the Faroese word Faroyar may mean Sheep Islands in Old Norse, from which the brewery gets its name. Furthermore, the name Green Islands calls back to the grassy meadows that dot the otherwise rocky land, an absolute necessity for any shepherds that plan on surviving the often frigid and windy elements of the North Atlantic. As one expects with stout, this one pours dark with a beige head. The aroma is mostly sugar, no surprise given the addition. The taste is still sweet, but not as pronounced upon giving a sniff. There are also notes of roasted coffee to play off against that initial sweetness, which keeps the beer nicely balanced. A hearty brew calls for hearty food, and lamb is something popular in many communities that appreciate a pint of stout. To be more precise, let's enjoy Green Islands with Skiripikut, a jerky-like delicacy often served atop rye bread. It's not the fanciest dish, but when all you've got is rocky land dotted with an occasional green patch on the windy sea, it would be a tremendous comfort to savor with a dark beer. Thank you kindly for watching. If you're Faroese, leave behind a comment about your favorite local brew. It'll let me and the others know what to try if we ever get a chance to visit. Next week concludes our spring series with an authentic Italian grape ale. Until then, skull.